Hey guys, just another quick update. I know it's been a while since I um, posted up a video of what I got going on here in the house. Spring is coming, thank God. So fairly soon I can start to get these plants outdoors where they belong. But uh, quickly it's... Um, just going to be a quick tour here. This is finally a ripening up Meyer lemon. And his little brother in the back there. Um, so the Meyer lemon definitely needs some bright sunshine. Hoping to get her outdoors soon. This here is a um, a key lime tree. I've got my my strawberries. Everything here, you know, I'm starting for outdoors for the summertime so everything's on a heating mat under the metal halide light in the living room which I do understand is odd for people to have a metal halide light in their living room but I don't have much space in my apartment so that's the way I'm doing it um, got some marigolds started these are some carrots from Praxis. If you don't know Praxis, go to his channel. He did a seed giveaway and was gracious enough to send me off some seeds. Uh, behind that, stuck behind the strawberries there, are some peppers. In the tray, I've got some arugula, all of my tomatoes, some banana peppers. Um, some Swiss chard, some habaneros, um, you know, the big bowl planter isn't doing the best because I've been harvesting the hell out of everything on it. The kale, you can see there's only a couple, two, three leaves left on it. Pak choy. Um... As you can see, there's just a random carrot stuck in there. I've never grown carrots, and I was just curious if I could do it indoors. Uh, there is a carrot forming in there. I don't know how big it's going to be, but uh, we'll see. And my purple kohlrabi. In the back there is a... Uh, some form of an orange tree. I forget what what type it is, what genus it's from, but it's an orange. Uh, and my tomato plant, a lot of people told me I could not grow tomatoes and get them to fruit indoors, but I'll tell you they are wrong. This is, well, they may not be wrong, this is just a large cherry tomato. Um, plant so maybe if you were to grow something like a beefsteak tomato may not quite work as well but I have har harvested very many tomatoes off of this um, sorry there are a few growing there there's a few up top there um, see if I can get this, but you know, you've got a couple that are starting to turn. And another cool thing is I didn't think this was going to actually do much of anything, but my DWC California Wonder Bell Pepper seems to be doing great with the Boogie Brew Compost Tea. And the Roots Organic Fertilizer. Again, I've got to wash out the reservoir once a week. 
to keep everything on the up and up and keep algae and fungus growing and whatnot. But it, uh, you know, it appears to be doing just great. It's got some flowers on it that I just recently um, self-pollinated with a, well, manually pollinated with a paintbrush. So hopefully we can start to get some peppers on those. But like I said, spring's coming soon. I don't know if it's possible to transplant something like this into a garden. I might just put this whole bucket outdoors um, and plug it into an outlet outdoors, protect the pump, and uh, see if I can get this thing to to go through the summer in a DWC bucket. Uh, just some random things, some air plants, another air plant. Uh, my begonias, uh, my angel wing, my, um, I think I said in the last video, I don't remember what the hell this thing's called. It's like a New York swirl or something, some, something along those lines. It's a cool looking plant. And the iron cross begonia that I have in a humidity dome because it seems to just love being in the humidity. Alright, so let's take you back into the kitchen. Okay guys, kitchen, arrow garden with the herbs. Again, a lot of harvesting going on. I certainly have gotten my money's worth out of the herbs. You know how much fresh herbs cost in the grocery store and I don't need to buy any thankfully because of the system so get your thyme, oregano, some sage buried in there the parsley just keeps banging out I've got to trim that back all the time but I love parsley so I put it in almost anything uh, some dill and my basil and chives basil again harvested all the time um, and everything seems to be doing well here we are on let me see get in here day 86 with the arrow garden ultra herbs Okay, this right next to it is some um, hyacinth bulbs that I had forced over the winter. This little guy over on the side here is a Ming Aurelia that I've had for quite some time. And let me show you what's going on with the other Ultra Garden in the um, in the other room. Alright, so my other uh, Ultra Garden, I'm sorry, Arrow Garden, it's not the Ultra, it's the uh, Arrow Garden 7. I decided to plant some yellow Scotch Bonnet plants, uh, seeds. I had put some of those rooster peppers back in it, but it didn't seem like the seeds wanted to sprout. The seeds were a little old, I've had them for a while, so I think it was just an issue of them being expired and past their prime so we're gonna do some yellow scotch bonnets and again on the deck there until they sprout I've just got some air plants uh, I've got a cucumber plant here these are some more praxis uh, I think these are Tokyo green onions from the praxis seed giveaway um, bunch of random stuff. There's a coleus and aloe vera and just miscellaneous plants, goldfish plant and my banana tree who's dying to get outside. This banana tree needs some sun badly so I mean it's doing okay indoors temporarily but 
we got to get him outdoors and get him some sunlight. Uh, down below, I've uh, propagated some of the begonias so I can get them in my shade areas outdoors. Got some lettuce, uh, some pepper plants, some pea plants, some sweet peas that I've planted. And that's about it. Besides the other random stuff. Just a little planter here that I've got with some ivy and some moss. Some snake plant, more ivy, air plants, um, orchid. So, that's about it. We'll keep you posted on how these yellow scotch bonnets do. Hopefully we can get the beans to pop and, uh, and get something going in this arrow garden here. Alright, so thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Have a good night.